December 10th, 2020, the Rangers are looking for a first baseman. They reach out to Tampa and they say, hey, can we send you four minor leaguers and you bring us this beast? Pause this real quick. He's hitting 300 with 22 homers, 65 RBIs, and 847 OPS, okay? What's he been doing since the All-Star break, though? Bring up the first board, S-Rod. Take a look at this. Weighted runs created plus, park wow. adjusted. You're talking about rarefied air with some of the best in the game. Aaron Judge, Goldie, Nolan Arenado, Nathaniel Lowe, Bregman's gotten hot as all get out, 20 homers now. I mean, that's where he is. And I'm gonna bring up a ton of boards throughout the course of this that are kind of just gonna be, this guy has been unbelievable for this team. Has he done anything different at the plate? Give me the side-by-side -side real quick. All right, there he is. He gets traded over April of 2021. Kind of your normal setup, a little bit more bend in the knees. We talk about it all the time. When you're fighting, trying to earn your keep in the big leagues, you'd like to stick your nose in there a little bit more. Here he is, August of 2022, recently. A little bit more open, clearing the hips a little bit more. Hands kind of in a similar place, maybe a little bit different. You're seeing a lot of guys want their hands out in front of them, the Matt Olsons of the world. But you're seeing a guy who's more confident, standing a little bit taller. So now let's dive into all the numbers here. All right, we're gonna take you through it, run this. This guy has unbelievable power. Some of these balls look like base hits up the middle, line drives up the middle, and they are absolutely crunched. So what has he done well? Okay, let's get into it. First off, run that back for me. You're telling me that ball was getting out of the lot? I mean, that's a middle away 92 mile an hour heater, and he doesn't cheat at all and just drives it. Coors Field, 94, up in the zone, 2-0. I know I can go deep to all parts. I'm gonna take you up the middle the other way. Bring up the stat, the next board, please, with Freddie Freeman. Take a look at this. Most base hits up the middle or to the opposite field this season. Wow. You got Freddie Free, Jose Abreu, Brandon Rogers, Alex Verdugo, Goldie, Rosario we just talked about, 140 hits. Nathaniel Lowe second in all of baseball. Wow. So he's covering all parts of the field, right? That's number one. Let's get back into the tape. What else does he do? Crushing off-speed pitches. 84 miles an hour. That's getting to the gap. So if you throw him something, middle of the plate, off-speed, kind of hanging, little spinner, little change-up, dead center, no problem. Okay, what else does he do? He wears an awesome mock neck. I used to rock that, a la Chipper Jones. Okay. The tactical neck. Yes, the tactical neck. Left on left. You hear it all the time. Can he hit left on left? Watch where this ball lands. Come on, we're in Texas. This is supposed to play big. Run that back for me. This is left on left. This is supposed to be intense. He flips a get me over slider and he destroys it up on this catwalk right here. Whew. Bring me up the next board. Wait, time out. Oh. Not yet. Run to Steekman. This is a bomb. Watch where this lands, Robert. Oh, Slider buddy. from Jake Diekman. We're going here. We're going somewhere in this region. Jeez Louise. Yeah, you know what? For, for the sake of Nathaniel, run that back for me again. That is such a bomb. I want to see it one more time. Off Diekman. Oh. And then we're going to bring up the next board of what he does against left-handed pitching. Weighted runs created plus leaders versus left-handed pitchers, minimum of 100 at bats. What stands out to you here? It's a big time name. He's though. the only lefty. Yeah, oh yeah. They all hit righty. I mean, this is Paul Goldschmidt, Pujols. There's a reason he's still playing and battling for 700 homers. Austin Riley, Altuve, Betts, Trout, Nathaniel Lowe. He should not be on this board. Okay, let's get back into it. I want to see a side angle of him. Real quick. Take a look at this. So we talk about it. April of 2021, toe tap, little bit more into his legs. 
letting the ball get a little bit deeper. I think there's an, an honest kind of approach, similar toe tap, a little bit more athletic frame to get, get out there a little bit more and catch it a little bit more out front, which I think is pretty interesting right there. Run it one more time. I mean, it's a good swing. He's got a clean swing, and he's only getting more confident, starting to understand the strike zone. I'm going to bring up a quote when we end this that I thought kind of he talked about and wrapped it up perfectly. Take a listen to this. He said this in September of 2021. I feel like my eye and my strike zone discipline has been pretty good for as long as I can remember playing. So he sees the ball perfect, got an idea for the strike zone. So getting out of that comfort zone and being more aggressive responsibly is definitely something that I need to work on. And I think when I read this, more aggressive responsibly. You don't hear that. I think it's a great way to kind of lock that in because he's saying to himself, I understand the strike zone. If I'm going to pull the trigger, I'm going to pull the trigger more aggressively. But I'm not going to deviate from what I do. I'm not just going to go up there and hack. I'm going to be one of those guys that when I do get my pitch, I'm looking to do damage instead of just drive it up the middle or the other way, which he knows he's got in his back pocket. So Nathaniel Lowe, I can't wait to talk to him. Yeah. Oh, I love that.